Hello everybody, um, welcome to Piano Lesson 2. I don't mind the two big stuffed bears in the background there, that's Epifanio and Chattington. Anyways, in this lesson we go over starting off to read music and just more of the basics until you can get the hang of it. Anyway, the lesson will start shortly. Oh, and by the way, there is a special surprise in the video. It's in a random location. If I were you, I'd uh, watch and see that special surprise. So watch through the whole video. It's very special. Hello everybody, welcome to Piano Quarantine Lessons Day 2. Um, I might have been an intro, I don't know, but I'm recording this part first. Anyway, so if you did not see the last lesson, I would highly advise you doing so. There should be a little thing up in the corner that you can click on. Um, but anyway, in this lesson, I would like to go just refresh on the basic notes for the first half and learn more about chords, because chords are very important when learning the instrument, because about every song has chords. So, let's get into it. So the basic notes, we went over them in the last video, I stopped my tape on, but it's worn. They are C, D. And B. Those are the seven main seven white notes, and there are the five sharps and flats. So there's only 12 notes in total. So it's not really a scary instrument to learn as long as you put a little bit of time into it. And so, yeah. This is a C, and if you remember, a C sharp is the note above a C. C, C sharp. This note is below D, so it's also called a D flat. So C sharp is the same as D flat. This note is D sharp or E flat. This note is F sharp or G flat. This note is G sharp or A flat, A sharp or B flat. Good job. All right, so. That is called a chromatic scale when you play all the sharps and flats like that. And that is called a chromatic scale. You don't need to know that though. So, this quick review B flat or A sharp, A flat or G sharp, D sharp or E flat, F sharp or G flat. Anyway, yeah, those are just, if you still don't understand it, there is a video called Understanding the Basics of Piano. I will put a link to it in the comment section, and y'all can go check that out. Um, and uh, you can also rewatch the first episode, since it's only 10 minutes long. I don't want to make these too long, but a good amount of time. So, the next thing, I did briefly go over chords, but chords are when you play more than one note at once. So that's a chord, that's a chord of two notes, that's a chord. What I do want to go over with the chords is there a thing called a major chord, like um, this is C major chord C G, but I might actually get into that in like a few episodes down the road. But I also do want to work on like being able for you to identify the note to play by the music. So up on the screen, I'm gonna have to do a ton of editing for this video. When you, when I play C, when you read music, that's what a C will look like on the music. And a D will look like that on the music. You should probably be looking at the screen because it'll show you what the notes look like. That's what an E looks like on the music, and an F looks like on the music, and a G looks like on the music, an A and a B. So as you can see, every, every, as the notes go higher, they ascend on the quote staff as well. The five lines are called a staff, and as you play the notes higher, they ascend on the staff. Now. I do want to do a few more exercises with that, because that can be complicated to learn, but I'd say a few people watching this should have some experience with reading music, and even if you have a little bit, I would still watch this part, but, so yeah, that's a C, that's a D, 
that's an E, that's an F, a G, an A, and a B, and then just keep going up, and, and they'll go up forever, on the top of the piano, and as you go down though, this is what they look like. C, B, A, G, F, E, G. I don't want to go too low though, just not to make it confusing, but the main ones that you will need to know are C, D, E, F, G, A, and B. And those will, as I play them one more time, they will be appearing on the screen, so if you're still confused, you sh I would highly advise watching it over until you have all of them memorized. So C is a line below the staff. D is a space above the staff. So in music, um, it's referred to as lines and spaces on the piano, and lines are the lines, and the spaces are the things between the lines, just to make it clear. So C, the line above the the line below the staff, I'm sorry. D, the space above the staff. E is the bottom line on the staff. F is the first space on the staff. G is the second line on the staff. A and B. So, and it goes so on. So it's not like terribly confusing, but as I said, if you always are confused, you can go back and rewatch previous parts of the video until that makes sense for you. Um, but yeah, that was just a quick little introduction to reading music. I will cover it more next lesson, which will be available tomorrow. And now chords. See, so I just, I'm not going to go for like majors and stuff until like episode six or seven, because majors are confusing and I don't know why they exist. So this is a, so there's a thing called a scale, which is, okay, I'm going to, I'm not going to get into that. Um, I should really have a lesson plan. <laughs> so, chords. A single note would sound like that, but a chord would sound like that. It's three notes at once, and I, I'm not, I just want you to practice chords. You can pause the video and just practice playing random chords. Chords include any notes, so that is professionally called a chord. So banging your fist on the piano, you're actually playing a chord little do you know. So you can just go and tell your family members that you're playing chords and just start pounding your keyboard like it pains me to listen to. But yeah, pause the video for half a minute, minute, and just practice playing chords until you just have the overall hang of chords. Some of my younger viewers out there, age zero to Ten, it all depends on your hand size, but I want y'all to see how many notes you can reach out, because that is very important. That's called your hand reach, I think. I can do an octave and two notes, so from C to A, but I want to see how you can do... It's okay if you can't do an octave, an octave is a... Special surprise time! The video just got interrupted, I know. So, um, I have to have the camera like this, because I have my hair down, and I look really strange with my hair down. So, I will be teaching y'all a song in episodes 3, 4, and 5. I don't know what I'm going to do. I have the Imperial March from Star Wars, the Harry Potter theme, a uh, Canon and D, and a few others. So, click that uh, poll up there, and uh, we can vote. Anyway, back to the video. The poll will also be in the comments section. Oh, comment the Jack Griffin. Just just that in the comment section, and I will give you a free heart. Anyway, back to the video. It is important to eventually be able to do, but your hands will get used to playing the more you practice. Another main key to learning the piano is you must practice. You will not, well, unless you're like superhuman, you will not become really good if you do not practice. I, I, I practice hours every day. Um, but, yeah. Eventually, once you had an octave reach, all my, all the kids watching this, that is good. You don't need to have higher than an octave reach, except for on like a bunch of extremely complicated songs. But yeah, even if you can only do from like C to G, that's your hands have to be really small. But yeah, that it's still fun. Just make sure to find out your range and just until the next episode. I maybe put in 30 minutes to an hour of just practicing chords and reading the music up on the screen. You can just keep rewatching this video, and the next lesson will be available tomorrow. 
And let's do a quick review and then I will end lesson two. C, look up on the screen for the music. D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Those are the seven main notes. That's what a C looks like. That's what a D looks like. That's what an E looks like. That's what an F looks like. That's what a G looks like. That's what an A looks like. And that's what a B looks like. I will get into reading sharps in the next episode. And chords. Any notes that you play together. All those are chords. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching episode two. If you enjoy, you can always leave a like and comment below. So thank you for those who actually do comment on my videos because it, it it does mean a lot to me that y'all actually care. And um, anyway, like I said, if you have any song that you want me to make a tutorial for, I can rather make a simplified tutorial or, or whatever you want. Just you can comment any song and I will make you a tutorial for it. And anyway, thank y'all for watching. If you yeah, like I already said my crap. And anyway. Goodbye.